Hello all and welcome to another Kevin Aaron Timmons video. It's Art here with the book review for The Killing Kind, the third book in the Charlie Parker series by John Connolly. Th these are in the same vein as uh, the Lucas Davenport novels by John Sanford or the Harry Bosch novels by Michael Connolly. So th those, these are in that same vein, in that same inference of time well not time but in that same style of writing where it's hardcore however I would say the Charlie Parker series and The Killing Kind most of all so far being the third book and um, the only book the latest book that I've read uh, in the series not the only book I've read in the series uh, as you all know I've read um, Every Dead Thing and Dark Hollow reviews are on this channel as well for those two books. Um, the Killing Kind is the most haunting. However, it does show Charlie Parker uh, having trying to have friends and a relationship. So it's, it shows a humanizing side, but it's also haunting. Plus, the mystery itself is gritty hardcore thrown in with some um, thriller aspects on one side because there's organized crime involved and when organized crime gets involved that's where John Connolly kind of takes it towards the thriller end so this is a mixture of a lot of books you could say it's a little bit Jack Reacher as well it's a but that being said it has its own identity in being haunting, in being gritty, in being a flavoring of many characters that are that are on the market, but yet also standing out in its own right and of its own merit. The book is paced well, it's written exquisitely, it's written with top-notch John Connolly doesn't waste a word, which is very, very good to see and very, very nice to see because it's not, it's just long enough to tell the story that it wants to tell. It's not overinflated with puff. Like it doesn't have um, over, descriptical th over descriptive things just to fill out a word count. It, it, the action moves at the proper pace for a Charlie Parker novel. It's part part detective mystery, part spy thriller, part mob crime um, novel. But it melds all three of those into its own story and The Killing Kind is better off for that. The narrator in the audiobook format, because I have it on my Kindle, I have it in print, and I have it in audiobook, and I use the Kindle and audiobook for the most part. Uh, Kindle when I had time to actually sit and read, and audiobook when I was busy doing things or traveling. I like I can't read while I'm traveling, but I can listen to audiobooks because if I read while I'm traveling, I actually get kind of nauseous. So that is where that stands. But the book was good and top notch. Not to mention the twists and turns the book takes. And the the more haunting aspect comes from the murders themselves and also from what happened in previous books that I won't go into. Because I don't want to get in spoiler territory. But John Connolly, you can tell with the Charlie Parker series, at least with the first three, I can't say for the rest of the series yet, but at least with the first three, is weaving a story that is not only self-containing in one book, so he's telling a self-contained self story in one book, but an overarching story throughout the entire series for one character, which I find that to be very impressive and very thrilling because it rewards a longtime reader of the series like myself and it rewards somebody like myself who is going to read every single book and 
that's why I say when you read a series, especially, this is a prime example of why I say when you read a series like, like the Charlie Parker series, you need to read them in order because each book is a building block on the other. These authors that sometimes say, well, you can just pick up and read any book you want and um, pick up from there. No, if there's so many books uh, built into the series, then you need to start at the beginning. And the John Connolly, Charlie Parker series is a perfect example of that. Is a per is a perfect example of that is what I'm trying to say. That was that didn't sound right in my ear. Um, but it's an amazing read, a haunting read, best read in the fall type time, like I uh, read it. And of course, you know that I'm already going to read the White Road already. So what am I giving it? Well, it's a four out of five on the Goodreads scale. And the reason I give it a four out of five is because it's a little bit formulaic and I feel like it's a prerequisite that you have to have read the first two books before you get to this book. This series is not pick up and play. However, on my scale, it's a read it only love it. So four out of five is really good. It's just missing the mark to be a five out of five read for me on a few things and it may be a five personally it's a five out of five I'm just saying objectively or as objective as I can be it's a four out of five because it's not pick up and play with any book in the series they come with the backstory as a necessity and John Connolly does not do a good job in giving you that backstory because it's in a whole nother book he tries to get you, give you somewhat sort of an, a, a synopsis, but it doesn't always work. But before I go on too much longer, I'm going to say, you know, I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more, please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, happy reading. I'll see you again soon. And... Peace.